So, I just got my favorite chocolate. So today I want to make this incredible chocolate mousse with you. So this recipe is very light and creamy and smooth, but very rich at the same time. So if that sounds good to you, I'm sharing how to make it step by step just now so that you can make at home in your own kitchen. So, let's start. So first, we are melting chocolate. All right, it started boiling, so I'm gonna turn off the heat and melt chocolate. So today I'm using Calive 66% from Verona Company. It has nutty flavor and the acid is not too strong, which I like to use for a lot of desserts. If you have your favorite chocolate, feel free to use that one. All right, it started melting. Make sure that your chocolate is completely melted. I'm gonna wait a little bit more. So to make this chocolate mousse very fluffy and light, we are adding pot a bomb in this chocolate mousse. Pot a bomb is usually made of hot syrup and egg yolks. But today, instead of water, we're gonna use heavy cream to make the syrup, to make the pot a bomb a little bit more leach. So I'm gonna show you how. So add granulated sugar and add heavy cream. Mix. And heat it up. All right, so now it started boiling, so I'm gonna stop. And while it's still really, really hot, immediately add some in the egg yolks and mix. Not all of that so that the, the yolk is not gonna get cooked. A bit of hot syrup and add less. Mix. And pour it back to the pan. And heat up until it starts thickening. So the reason why we want to heat this yolk mixture in the pan is for food safety reason. Because the yolk is not heated enough only with the heavy cream syrup. To avoid coagulation, which starts from around 65 Celsius, which is 150 Fahrenheit, cook with low heat and repeat removing from the heat and heat again like this and control the temperature. Or simply use a thermometer. When you touch it with your finger, it should not be comfortably warm. You should not be able to keep it in more than 3 seconds or so. You don't want to make scrambled eggs, so pay good attention here. And pour in a mixing bowl immediately and whip at really high speed. All right, the color is nice and pale. And when you touch the ball, you don't feel anything. And the uh, the part of bomb itself is slightly warm or you don't feel anything. Nice and creamy. So the texture is still fluffy, but it's very soft peak. So now you combine everything together, uh, powder bomb, 
chocolate and whipped cream so when you do that the temperature is very important so powder bomb it shouldn't be cold it shouldn't be warm it should be just right in a room temperature and your chocolate shouldn't be cold because if this is cold after you add powder a bomb or whipped cream this chocolate can easily get hardened and your chocolate mousse is gonna be like a chocolate chips, which you really do not want. So make sure your chocolate is warm enough to prevent that. When chocolate is too warm, like when it's too hot, after you add part of bomb, the volume of part of bomb can easily reduce with the heat and also your whipped cream. If you add whipped cream in a really warm chocolate mixture, your whipped cream can melt. Be mindful with that. Powder bomb in a room temperature, chocolate nice and warm, comfortably warm, and a whipped cream is not too too cold. I'm going to add powder bomb just a little bit first, and mix. Once it blended, I add the less and mix gently. Now I'm going to add one scoop of whipped cream and mix. Clean up your spatula and bowl on the way. That's really important. A lot of times, a lot of chocolates like sinked on the bottom. And then we'll add more. And add the last of whipped cream. Looks beautiful. Today I added the whipped cream, divided it into five times in total, but you can do less like three times or so. Just make sure not to add all the whipped cream at once because that can really harden the chocolate mixture with cold temperature. And this is done. Once it's chilled completely in a fridge, it gets firmer. So I'll show you that later. So talking about chocolate mousse, it is very important what type of chocolate you use because obviously it really affects the taste, flavor, and texture. For example, if you use chocolate chips for chocolate mousse, yes, it still tastes good because it's chocolate, but it doesn't taste as good as when you pick really good quality chocolate. If you want to make really killer chocolate mousse, I recommend to use kubuchu chocolate, which is the best quality chocolate. But, but at the same time, I believe in starting from what you have. So if you cannot get the kombucha chocolate, just start from whatever chocolate you have and it's good to even just for you to practice. And I wanted to let you know one more thing that's gonna be really important when you pick chocolate for chocolate mousse, which is percentage of chocolate. So today I picked 66% dark chocolate, but when people say dark chocolate, there are so many percentages. 
like from 50 to 55 percent to like 75 to 80 percent or maybe higher sometimes when the percentage is higher it is more bitter because it contains more cacao inside and for chocolate mousse when the percentage is lower the texture gets softer and when the percentage is higher the texture gets thicker like it's gonna be more dense and heavier so that's something that you may want to keep in mind if you cannot get around the same percentage of chocolate I use today then I recommend you to adjust the texture by for example adding more whipped cream or reducing the amount of whipped cream Yummy, yummy, yummy. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you can subscribe to my channel to learn how to make beautiful pastries from scratch at home. And I'll see you in my next video.